So the music was a shadow land of honky-tonk hell and rockabilly heaven, of drugs, murder, alcohol, miscegenation, and illumination. And Hollywood would repeatedly and always belatedly try to capture this demonology. Hank Williams! You're cheating hard. Hank Williams lives again, sings again, as George Hamilton brings to life on the screen a man known and loved in a thousand American cities and towns. The one, the only, Hank Williams. The one and only Hank Williams. If Hank Williams is a one and only kind of guy, then why is someone else pretending to be him? Of all the shitty things that Hollywood does to sell films, the absolute shittiest is when they try to crank out some musical biopic. A musical biopic exploits the details of an artist's life and pigeonholes them, homogenizes them, and in the end just lies about it. Patsy Cline died in a plane crash near Camden, Tennessee, 80 miles west of Nashville. And yet, in the biopic of her life, Sweet Dreams, the producers decide to have her plane crash out in the American desert in the Southwest. The screenwriters of a biopic are forced to attribute character changes to specific events in that artist's life. But that's not how life happens. Ray Charles becomes a heroin addict in the film Ray because his brother died, when in fact Ray Charles became a heroin addict because he kept shooting fucking heroin into his arm. It's reductive lies, it's reductive emotions, it's reductive talent. People do not listen to the music of Johnny Cash for any other reason than it allows them to tap into a greater depth of emotion. Watching Joaquin Phoenix pretend to be Johnny Cash is about as goddamn illuminating as if Johnny Cash had stopped the concert mid-song and started doing scenes from Gladiator. But wait a minute, Rich. Wait just a cotton-picking minute. That's what you're saying. Didn't Joaquin Phoenix get an Academy Award nomination for playing Johnny Cash? And didn't Jamie Foxx win an Academy Award for being Ray Charles? Well, yes, they did. What that means is that Jamie Foxx did a slightly better job of raping Ray Charles' corpse than Joaquin Phoenix did of raping Johnny Cash's corpse. Actors don't portray musicians out of some sense of honor or admiration. They do it because it's Oscar bait. But Rich, you're saying, what if it turns that person on to their music? If you do not have the innate ability to seek out someone's music on your own and you have to wait for Hollywood to do it for you, then you are some sort of hillside grazer of culture. You are a sheep, a cow, what is biologically classified as a ruminant. Fuck you.